Union Congress, um, which is part of Organized Labour. He's joining us and I say you're welcome to Eyewitness News and congratulations on your elections. Thank you for having me, my brother. Um, let's talk about tomorrow. So we do know that you started off by writing a letter. First of all, where did the idea come from that you should join this campaign as organized labor? And how seriously are you taking this issue? First of all, let me thank your cherished uh, listeners and your cherished viewers. Uh, Galamsi is something that is affected, uh, is affecting everybody. Uh, for us as organized labor, this is something that is against humanity, is against life and property. And I believe we believe that it's something that as workers we have to be concerned about the environment, our health, and economic losses. These are the main reasons why we have, you know, joined this campaign. Now, what is your aspiration in joining this campaign? What do you want? And and let, let me see, what has been the response from government so far? I do know that there was a committee that was set up. Has that satisfied you? Has that met you in any way, the committee? Well, we met the committee and we, 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 uh, we asked them, what we need as organized labor and uh we were promised that they were going to revert back to us but as we speak today nothing has been heard from them the reason we are meeting tomorrow uh to firm up our decision and to go ahead with our decision that we agreed on previously your letter was two weeks or so ago um it was after your communication that the ministerial committee was set up the ministerial committee met you and asked for more time which time you said you were not willing to grant uh, you give a deadline of the end of this month now the month ends tonight does it mean negotiations are over you're going to now just act in your in the threat that you gave earlier yes we are going to act on our threat uh, based on the decisions that we would take uh, tomorrow, God willing, when we meet our structures and we we'll firm up our earlier decision, either to go on strike or to embark on demonstration. So these are the two options available to you. No more negotiations. Is that is it the case that negotiations are over? Well, we have put our demands out there, an immediate declaration of state of emergency in line with the provision of the 1992 Constitution, Article 31. Uh, uh, for and an order to halt all form of mining uh, in the forest reserve and around water bodies, an immediate evacuation of all mining equipment and deployment of the police and the military with full orders to remove, destroy all mining equipment and and other earth moving equipment around the river bodies and the forest and. Uh, the immediate revocation of the LI 2462 uh, and establishment of a special court to prosecute the perpetrators of this horrible crime. Uh, we've, done, we've, we've said this and we've, we've, we've said it over and over and I think government is not you know, forthcoming with answers. And the reason we are meeting tomorrow to firm up our decision to ensure that uh, the widespread of destruction of our forests, water bodies, and the farmland that has become increasingly visible and severe that everybody sees it. Uh, the health concerns, the pollution from mining activity that has led to the effect of our communities, children being born with all sorts of uh, deformities that have been traced uh, to this presence of mercury and other chemicals in our water bodies. So we think that <laughs> this is something that is against humanity and we need to at least uh, stop it once and for all, or we all die in this uh, sort of activity that is happening in our country. Now, in the past, when organized labor coughs, government catches a cold, or if you sneeze rather, um, the last time organized labor spoke was during the sale of the SNIT hotels, and government quickly did a U turn. Now, the thinking was that as soon as you spoke and threatened a mass action, government would have cowered. But the president has been tight-lipped. He was given an opportunity as recently as two nights ago to speak on this issue 
he did not say anything about Galamse. Is it the case that government is not afraid of you? Maybe you, you don't really have much against government. Could that be the reason? Well, let me use this opportunity to thank the chairman of the or the president of the GJA for coming out boldly to speak at in this uh, minute. And let me say that we are not uh, uh, we are not well we are not the lion or uh, uh, anything that uh, government has to be sort of afraid. But uh, after tomorrow. Whatever we have under our sleeves, either government will budge or not, uh, we will see what will happen, my brother. If the minister for your sector calls you tonight and says, and indeed, let me just say that we have tried to reach the minister, uh, Ignacio Zbavewa, for comment since this issue came up, he has not accepted our request for an interview. So we know what government position on that side at least is. Uh, we have not been able to get from the president see any response on this your calls but if you are called tonight into a meeting which meeting tries to convince you in so many other ways that they can be used to convince you not to hold your meeting tomorrow which meeting will result in any of the two issues you're planning what will be the posture of organized labor our decision is clear declare state of emergency uh, we've made our uh, decisions clear to government. And if government is not responding, I don't think meeting him will result in any good, uh, what you call, uh, meeting. So all that we are demanding as an organized labor is government to ensure that what we have asked them to do, they should do it so that we'll have a very peaceful, uh, what you call, uh, meeting tomorrow. Very well. Thank you so much. We'll wait to see what happens after your meeting tomorrow. Uh, we'll I will use this opportunity to ask each and every Ghanaian uh, to respond when organized labor comes out of with a decision that will all, all of us help us to fight this calamity. We all have to join. Omar Sandra, I will, I will, Sandra, I will expect you to be part of any decision that we'll take tomorrow and your colleagues to as well, because this is for Ghana. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. Hashtag Stop Galamsey. Thank you, sir, for, for joining us and for speaking to us Thank tonight. You for having me. That's Thank Bernardo Uso. He is the national chairman of the Trades Union Congress 